Hi there folks, welcome to this tutorial on understanding blend shapes. Now before we go ahead and look at some practical examples on how to best use blend shapes, the first thing I want to talk about is exactly what a blend shape is. Now blend shapes in Maya are deformers and what this means is it's going to allow us to take an object and change it from one shape into another. Now this is a function that many 3D applications have and you've probably heard the term morph targets before. Basically a morph target and a blend shape are the exact same thing. We're simply deforming a surface from one shape into another. Now to kind of demonstrate this, we're going to have a look at one of the primary uses for a blend shape inside of Maya and that's to create facial expressions. So I'm going to turn on my first example here and you can see that I have a base head and I have four different shapes. Okay. Now these shapes here are what are known as target shapes because these are the target that we want to change our main head into. Okay, so we're going to deform from the base head into an open shape, into a closed shape, into a smile, or into the kind of ooh shape. So if I zoom in to the base head here, and on my left here I've got my expressions list. Now we'll look at how to find and how to create these a little bit later on. This is, as I said, just an example as to show you exactly what a blend shape is and how it works. As I change the slider from 0 to 1, you can see the base head now changing and it's deforming from one shape into another. We can go ahead and do that with the rest of the shapes here. We can also go ahead and mix the shapes together to create a whole selection of facial expressions. To show you this concept on a different example, if I just go ahead and reset these sliders and close these off, I'm going to zoom my camera out and I'm going to turn on the second example here, which is of a very simple bouncing ball, and I'm going to open up my squash and stretch. Okay, now this is an inanimate object, but we want to add a little bit more life to it, and we can do that using a blend shape. So as you can see, I've got two sliders here, and if I change these from 0 to 1, you can see that I have a stretch shape and I have a squash shape. And when you run these together and actually animate them, you can see the effect that that has. So we can take a very simple bouncing ball animation and give it a lot more life using our blend shape deformers. Now as blend shapes are deformers, we're going to find all the settings for these under the animation menu set. Okay, so if I just go over to that there and under the create deformer menu and when we want to edit the actual blend shape we have options under the edit deformers menu so these are the two menus that we're going to be using throughout the rest of our tutorial